Hi, my name is Jamil Jan Ali Marandi. I am a second year PhD student in bioinformatics at the University of California, San Diego at the iLab. For this conference, I will be talking about the assessment of methods for single cell high C analysis and clustering. Before we get started, I would like to give some background information about the high C technology, single cell high C, the challenges that are faced in the single cell high C, and our potential developing methods. High C technology is a technique to probe the three dimensional architecture of genomes which allows to study the spatial organization of chromosomes in the nucleus. And the single cell high C technology is an advancement of traditional high C enabling the study of chromosomal organization at the individual cell level. Well when it comes to the individual cell level there are of course several challenges that comes with it which is the data sparsity and the fact that it is computationally expensive. So our idea is to utilize tensor decomposition methods to help extract meaningful biological insights from the data by reducing its complexity and also help in reducing the challenges posted by data sparsity by compressing the data into lower dimensional space. Our problem statement consists of two aims. Our initial aim is to benchmark a subset of single cell high C analysis methods fairly with most optimal parameters for each method and to evaluate the performance of the methods we will be using the ARI metric which is determined by using the confusion matrix where NIJ represents the count of cells labeled as the ith cell type and assigned to the cluster by the algorithm as seen in the equation below. So here AI and BJ denote the totals of the ith row and the jth column of n respectively and lowercase n is the overall number of cells. Our second aim for our work is to identify cell type using single cell high C data using a completely new method also known as the tensor decomposition method for our case. So our goal ultimately is to provide the community with guidelines and best practices on single cell high C data analysis and to provide them with multiple options using published methods or methods that we and others will develop in the future. So what methods are we benchmarking? Um, the first one is the single cell SC high C, SC high cluster. Sorry. The second one is SC high C topic. Higashi, which is the state of the art. Muscle and snap attack. And additionally, our baseline methods, which we developed using tensor decomposition. There are several public data sets available already on this field. The most commonly used ones are Ramani, Kim, and the Lee data sets. It is almost always, they are always available in each method since they are, they have their ground truths available and they are very well um, analyzed. The Ramani data consists of 620 cells. The Kim data consists of the very similar cell lines with 16,706 cells and the Lee data has 4,238 cells. So to briefly talk about the results achieved by several methods, Higashi is the state of the art as we have discussed before and you can see that it performs very very good and has clear separation on almost all the data sets. So it performs nearly around 90% um, ARI and ARI is a metric from 0 to 1 not to forget. So it is achieving very very high accuracies in cell type clustering. Similarly snap attack is a very recent method. It is in, it is in preprint as, as of the moment and it is also performing quite well as you can see um, and only the Lee data 
as slightly lower ARI compared to the Hayash, but other than that, they are pretty competitive when it comes to the Kim and the Ramani data. So how does our method look like? Our tensor decomposition basically looks like the following. We take the single cell high C data, we pre-process it accordingly, and then we apply tensor decomposition with several different loss functions. As of now, we are attempting to use the zero inflated negative binomial, and then we have negative binomial and Poisson. So for in order to cluster, we are currently experimenting with k-means clustering and the Levain clustering, which is actually done by other methods as well. And finally, for the evaluation phase, we are also using the ARI to validate our um, cell type labels. Thank you for listening, and I am looking forward to seeing you all at the conference. Thank you.